Hey guys, it's Young Mind here. Today we're going to be talking about how you can maximize FPS in Fortnite. So, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's get right into the video. So, here's a little clip from um, before optimization. As you can see, it's kind of staying around the 60 FPS mark, which you know is pretty solid, um, but I have a pretty good PC, you know, some of you before optimization could be seeing, you know, 15, 10 FPS, and this will easily get you up to that 60, you know, 50 FPS mark, which is highly playable. I've even seen people go from like 20 to 100 FPS using this method, so yeah, definitely try this out. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you're in game is go up to top right main menu, Go to settings and you want to change this to low and then all of these to uh, the minimum. You want to turn motion blur and vsync off. You want to set frame rates to unlimited and you want to set this down to about 50 and set the display resolution to the minimum. Now, this uh, will look a bit ugly, but you know, if you're working on a worse PC and you just need those FPS, then that's fair enough. You know, this is what you have to do if you want to play Fortnite on high FPS, but you have a kind of lower tier PC. You know, as you can see, we're getting around 400 FPS in the menu. So, you know, if you have a kind of higher tier, you could maybe view distance is quite important. So you could, you know, bump that up to far and see we're still kind of getting similar because obviously that's not going to affect uh, the menu view distance, and then maybe textures to medium. But, you know, if you're on a low quality PC, definitely put all to low. Then, the next thing is a couple of things you can do in your operating system. So, I'll see you over there. Okay, hi guys. So, now we're in the operating system. What you'll need for this, uh, for these steps, are CC Cleaner and Unpark CPU. Uh, I'll provide a link for both down in the description. So, first things first, you want to run CC Cleaner. Just run it as normal. Then while that's happening, you want to open the Unpark CPU. It'll make that horrible noise. And you want to check status. So then you'll see um, it'll remove um, you know more. I had about three gigabytes here um, when I was recording this video last, but uh, I wasn't recording audio, so I had to record it. So now it's only about four, uh, you know, four megabytes. So, now that that's been cleaned, um, I don't know why I clicked it again, now that that's been cleaned, we can look at the unpark CPU. So you want to just hit unpark all, if this says unparked obviously. Um, and then, uh, you know, that'll take a few seconds and then it'll unpark them. Obviously I'm not going to do that because mine are already unparked. Then what you want to do is go to this PC. Uh, your the drive that has the little windows icon, properties, disk cleanup, and you just want to kick all of these, yes, delete files, that'll take a couple of seconds, or you know it can take longer if you have more uh, just rubbish on your drive. Now you want to go to tools and check for errors. Again, shouldn't take too long, you know, if if there's an error, uh, it'll fix it. No errors were found, you want to go to optimize. Now, this uh, step only really applies if you have a hard disk drive, I have a solid state drive, so it doesn't really matter, because um, there's really no use in uh, defragmenting a solid state drive. But if you have one that says this, hard disk drive, uh, it will optimize and that will uh, fragment it. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is go to control panel, type in the top power, power options, and then you want to set this to high performance. You may have to show additional plans and it will say high performance here. But this will be set to balance by default. Then you want to go to advanced, Go to view advanced system settings, you'll know which one it is because it has a little uh, shield next to it. Then you want to go performance, 
and you want to set this to adjust for best performance. Basically what this will do is it will disable some of the animations on uh, Windows and your OS to basically give you some more performance in your games. I don't really need this, so um, you know I'm just going to leave it off. It'll take a couple of seconds while it just sets it. And then you just want to press OK and close that. Oh, or none of it could respond. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, and the next thing you want to do is go to Task Manager. You can do that by pressing Ctrl Alt Delete, and then the Task Manager screen will come up. And then you want to go to Startup, and um, you want to have a look at these apps, because if there's any here that you don't actually use um, on startup, like I don't really use my RGB controller for my fans anymore, so I'm going to disable that on startup. Um, the rest of these I use, so I'm just going to leave them. Um, even CC Cleaner, you can turn that off on startup because you only really need to open it when you need it. And then, yeah, that's basically it. What this will do is it will stop just a lot of background programs running when you're trying to play Fortnite, and it means just a lot more things will be running. Okay, so that's all you need to do in the operating system. Now I recommend restarting, um, just because some of the changes won't apply until you restart, and then uh, we'll see how it looks in game now. So as you can see from this clip, we're already getting around 150 FPS just by dropping. You know, before we were getting about 58, so you know that's already a three times gain. So say you were getting 20 FPS, you'd be getting around 60, which is you know very very playable. So um, this is very good. Um, yeah, but as you can see, you know it still looks pretty nice. You know it's not like a complete blocky mess, and you know we're getting around 280, you know FPS at a high. And then about 150 a low, which is like a, a 3 to 5 times game in FPS using these optimization settings. So, yeah. New guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell.